Ah, oh, what up, guys? KJJ Productions here. Bring you a special video on how to make uh, World at War ISO discs. Um, all the stuff you're gonna need is a Memorex. Make sure you guys got this right disc right here. A uh, Memorex DVD plus RDL, uh, 8.5 gigabyte double layered discs. They're about 30 bucks for a pack. If you don't want to buy the uh, the pack, then you stop right now and you can buy a uh, full disc from me for $10. That's already made. Okay, and then you're going to need uh, WinRAR if you don't already have it. You can find it on the internet, probably put it in the description. Um, you're going to need ImageBurn, ABGX360 GUI, WX360, the seven parts uh, in the description. You can only download one at a time, I know, it's stupid, and each one takes like an hour. And then the modded files. And you can use these seven parts for any ISO disk, but uh, these modded files are for Motion Flex, V1 Edit, or V2, whatever you guys want to call it. So let's get started. So first download all seven parts, put them in a folder. And once you have all seven parts, right click, then hit Extract Files. Then just wait for the window to pop up. Okay, and then hit desktop. You might have to like scroll up and down, but just hit desktop. And then just hit desktop. Okay. And you only have to right click on the first file. Do not highlight all these or anything. Just do the first file. Because if you just do the first file, it's going to do all of them. And when that's done, I will be back. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, when uh, it finishes, you'll end up with these two files here. Uh, called World at War. One that looks like a little disc folder thing, and then one that looks like a bookshelf. So now what you're going to want to do is open ABGX360 GUI. Um, if you right-click, some people can run as administrators. If you're like on Vista or whatever, but I'm on XP, so I don't do that. Um, so you just double-click on it. Just wait for it to open. Okay, so now I'll hit the options tab on it. Okay, so on this, you guys got to make sure you check off everything I check off, or else it's not going to work. So check the first three, and then the use colors, verbo, verbo city level, medium, CLI window, maximize it. Use terminal font characters. And then you're going to want to check this one right here that I just checked, the first one on the right side. Uh, check for updates, check game, partition, CRC when needed. And then make sure you got all, make, just make sure you got all that. On manual patch, nothing is checked. These are still checked though. Auto fix, you're going to want to do uh, uh, level 3 on this scroll down thing. And then the first one, the third one, and the fourth one, you're going to want to check. And just leave that and make sure these are still checked. And then rebuild, you're going to want to uh, make sure it's on default. And then on miscellaneous, this one's the most important. Six, uh, in your constant region code, type in 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then F, F. Okay, and then English, add it if it doesn't exist or isn't valid, and ex uh, extract images. This, uh, just leave that how it is. Um, and then you're going to want to hit this little folder thing. And uh, So you're going to want to get this file. So it's called World of War, hit open. And then once you see it, um, you just want to gonna hit launch here on the bottom, 
and this thing will uh, pop up. So I'll be green. How mine is? You might. It might not look exactly the same, but it'll look pretty close. And then it'll show the estimated time and stuff on the bottom. I'm gonna pause it while mine goes. Um, and when it's done, just hit any. I think it's any key or like Q or something to exit the screen. Alright guys, here's the next part. So what you're gonna do now is open WX360 after you close the ABGX360. Hit file, open. And now you're gonna open this file from your desktop. So the one that looks like a book right here. Okay, so this big list of stuff will come up. Scroll down. Just a little. Alright, now you're gonna see code post gfx.ff. The, not the MP, the, just the first one right here. Hit right click and then extract to desktop and hit save. And then do the same thing with common FF. And then default dot ex, uh, xex. Okay, and now what you're going to want to do is right click on the code post gfx dot ff again and hit replace file okay now you're going to want to go to the modded files you downloaded so go into that folder and hit code post hit open and it'll say done same thing with the common replace with the modded one and it'll say done and then with the default exx you're going to hit replace and then go to the dex desktop and uh, find the default one uh, default one that you just got from it that you just got from this and put it back in and then just close out of that all right and when you're done with all that stuff uh, just close off WGX 360 or WX 360 and open image burn just wait for it to open go to Tools and then settings, and then go to the right tab and use uh, go to options. Right, see on this right here, use user specified and type into the box 1913760. Then just hit OK and now hit right image file to disk, and then go to right speed. 2.4 put your disc into your DVD writer tray um, you can only make sure verify is checked and then go up here to the hour or the hourglass I mean the magnifying glass folder thing and click the book one not this one the book one hit open this will pop up hit OK Just wait Got to put a disc in. Hold on. Okay, now I'm putting the disc in, and this says device not ready. You just got to wait for it to say it's ready. It's reading my disc. Hold on. Computer's garbage. Okay, now it's ready, and just hit this right here. And uh, when it's done, you can just take it out and uh, watch my video on how to hot swap it. So, yeah.